Okay, let's go downstairs. Because what could possibly be dangerous in the downstairs of Freddy Krueger's house? Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days of Diamond, Old Guy Gaming, and uh, we are back at Trader Hugh here. I just went and recovered all my stuff from the uh, shotgun, or no, I'm sorry, the Shamway factory, and I got to sneeze. Ah, uh, maybe not. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh, and so what, I, what I've decided to do is I've decided we are going to, in fact, do another mind wipe. Um, because, I mean, we, we can afford it. We got the money. Uh, I got a Grandpa's Awesome Sauce here, too. Um, that way we can just make the fence posts that we need. And also, um, I'm planning on primarily using my M60 on Horde Knight. And um, there's no way we're going to be able to get to Machine Gunner 5 before then. Uh, because we'd have to first get Fortitude up to 10. And that's just not going to happen <clears throat> without a mind wipe. So we're just going to do that and then uh, go from there. So let's go ahead and... We'll, we'll check and see if he has any fence posts, but even if he does, we're still going to do the mind wipe because, um, you know, we need to get, I, I want to make sure I have Machine Gunner 5 because this is going to be one humdinger of a hard night, man. It's going to be crazy. Spirit Hunter Volume 2, don't care about that. Um, okay, so yeah, let's, um, then, on your way. let's go ahead and take, oh, we need a Sugar Butts too. That'll help even more. Do you have one in here? No. I believe I bought one in the last episode and then actually forgot to use it, which actually is going to work out in our favor, I think, here. Yeah, so... Oh. We got lots of them. We got lots of them, man. Alright, let's use one of those. We'll also take this Grandpa's Awesome Sauce. That'll bring the price down on that stuff significantly. Plus, plus we have our, our cigar in our mouth, too. Um, okay, let's take this. Tastes like brass or ass. Hard to tell. I've never had, tasted brass or ass, so I couldn't tell you. Anyway, um, enough about that. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and get this. See, yeah, that knocks it down to almost half price. Uh, so there we go. I might even have one of these back in the base, too. But if I do, well, we have two now. Okay, so I don't think we need anything else from him. Let's, um... Are oops. Done here? Let's head on home, and we'll do this respec. And... Uh, yeah, I've got so much of that stuff now. I, I, well, you know what we should be buying is we should be buying the stuff for, um, for the spaghetti and the the who's them was it? You know, uh, shepherd's pie. Couldn't think of it for a second. Uh, chicken rash is not used in anything. I don't think is Tony used in something. I don't, I don't know if it is or not. Um, but we know for sure that the spaghetti is, so we'll buy that or the ravioli or whatever. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to head home. We're going to do the respec. We're going to make fence posts. And then we're going to come back here to our little horde structure and finish it up. Uh, we mostly just need to add fence posts. Oh, I need to add engines to the generator, too. I brought gasoline for it, but I forgot to uh, bring engines for it. But this is what I, I changed uh, in the last casual construction episode. I'd actually put, you know, the little... Uh, the, the pull things up, and then I realized that that's not going to work because the fences won't sit flush on them. So we're going to use plates, get the rest of the fences set up, probably put some hatches up there so we can get to them later for repairs, and then get this all patched up so we're ready to go uh, for, for 84. Everything is already good in here. We just need the fence posts, and we're golden. Uh, I'll probably use some explosives on Horde Knight, too. Um... But I think it's going to be more just t taking them down with the M60. We're just going to go Rambo on their ass, basically. Well, not on their ass, on their heads. So, all right, I'll meet you back at the base, and we'll do our respec and go from there. Down the hatch. Let's do this. Your skill points have been reset. <coughs> okay, so what we're going to do is start with... Uh, fortitude, and we're going to get this maxed out, and then we're going to get machine gunner maxed out, and we're going to get pain tolerance maxed out, and healing factor maxed out, okay, um, 
don't think I care about anything else. We might just for funsies try some brawler uh, if we have points left, but let's put points back into other essential things as well. So, uh, which are, what are those things? <laughs> oh, we need to go to intellect because we need to get uh, advanced engineering three, which requires intellect level six. So we got to bring that up to six. Advanced engineering. Okay, that should take care of that. Anything else we want in here? Executioner. These are two things that I don't really typically do. We could maybe play around. Oh, physician would probably be a BB. Uh, BB. Yeah, probably BB. Medicine health items more effectively. Yeah, what the hell? Let's max that up. Um. Oh. No. Okay. We'll max. We'll get it to two anyways. Okay. So let's see. We got forty nine points left. Um. This would be good to have. I, I, I'm assuming they fixed, uh, I, we just updated to 19.3, or I should say, I just updated to 19.3 stable. And uh, I'm hoping they fix the armor-piercing bullets uh, in this build, but I haven't actually read if they have or not. So, what does this do? Oh, yeah, that's a trap thing. This would be good to have. Um, so, let's keep that in mind, but that's not, like, the most important. I think we want to go back to our agility tree and um, get this back up so we can keep using our pistol and our, you know, our crossbow and stuff like that. So let's just max this out. And then we want gunslinger. We want archery. From the shadows. Hidden strike. Okay, now, uh, what does light armor give us again? <clears throat> we don't need to craft it. Reduce movement penalty by 75%, stamina penalty by 50 improve durability by 200 That wouldn't be bad. Uh, oh, I want run and gun. That wouldn't be bad. Um, should we go back to deep cuts, too, like we had before? I think we will. That leaves us five points. So, um, what do we want with those five points? Anything in strength? We're not going to do any more mining or anything like that, so we don't need that stuff. We're not really using shoddies anymore. Um, perception. I, I, would, I would like to get some of this. So, that takes perception level four. So let's go ahead and move in that direction. Okay. So what we'll probably end up doing is, you know, if we get any more points before we end the season, um, I'll probably just put those into Perception and then into Penetrator, uh, respectively there. Uh, we're no long, we no longer have points in Deadeye, but, I mean, we'll, we'll keep the Sniper Rifle with us anyways. Okay, yep, I think that's good for what we need to do. And, of course, you know, we always have the option of redoing it again. I didn't put any points into explosives. I was thinking about making some rockets, but since we didn't put any points into explosives, I think we'll just stick with lobbing the, you know, the occasional grenade now and then and just rely on our M60 and just have a buttload of, of ammo uh, for that. Okay, so let's see. If that's the case, let's put the rocket launcher back since we're not going to need it. We don't need the shotgun shells. So we're pretty much relying on these. These are our, our three main weapons. Well, you know, for mainly the, the knife, too. So very similar to the, the previous build, uh, except for that we don't have sniper skill now. Okay, so that being said, let's grab... I already made some more m60 rounds here they're just the normal ones we could try i guess we could try some some ap rounds but we're gonna go through we're gonna go through this stuff like crazy so let's go ahead and put some of this into here Okay, 
Now, um, I got I got the engines for the generator. We need to make eight more fence posts. That's what we need. And I should still have rebar. Uh, oh, we need to grab some more concrete, too. So let's do that now while I'm thinking about it. We'll grab a couple more stacks of that. And then uh, fence posts. All right, so what do we need to make those? Electric fence posts. We need iron and electrical parts. Uh... I thought I had some iron. Did I put it all in here? Sure did. Come on, stamina. Okay, so let's get four going in here. And we'll get four going in here. All right, cool. So I'm gonna wait for those to finish. When they're done, what we'll do is um, I'll meet you back down at the horde base. We'll get we'll get the, that wrapped up, and then probably we'll just spend the rest of this episode maybe just doing some more random looting. I do have all the yellow quests, but I don't know. I kind of don't feel like doing them. <laughs> to be honest with you, um, I mean, yeah, I don't know. I, I, We'll see. I'll leave them there for the moment in case I change my mind, but I think I think it would be probably more enjoyable just to go do some more random looting, you know, and some random POIs. So I think that's probably what we'll do until, you know, uh, for the rest of this episode. And then after that, it'll be, we'll, we'll do the Horde Night episode. That's the plan, at least at this point in time. All right, guys, I'll meet you back at the Horde base. We'll get it wrapped up and then we'll go from there. Okay, we are here. Let's grab some stuff out of here. We need uh, the rebar. We need some concrete. We need some steel. Uh, we need all these engines. And I believe, like, I, th I think we already have the gas in here, so we should be good to go on that front. Oh, I already got that one hooked up. Okay. Um... Do we need to put a relay in? I wanted to do direct connections to each post. Oh, man, really? Re relay -y? <laughs> That was terrible, wasn't it? Son of a bitch, I have relays back at the base, too. I didn't even think about that. Crap. All right, well, I'll go back and get them. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, I think, ladies and gentlemen, we are pretty much ready to do this. Um, the only other thing to do is upgrade that stuff to steel later, if, but I don't think we really need to. Don't the only thing you know that's gonna potentially get hit is this, and this you know almost really more splash damage. It is, I guess it's theoretically possible that a cop could be coming from this direction and could spit up towards me, but I don't think they will because I'm, you know, they don't have line of sight on me. Um, somebody even said in the comments that if there's, if the, if there's no line of sight at all, that, that it doesn't even spawn in buzzards, but I don't know about that. We'll have to wait and see. Um, but yeah, we're, you know, this, this little structure here from Spit is very well protected. We don't even, I don't even think we need to worry about repairing anything. I mean, it'll take a little bit of damage, but probably not enough to where they could break the block entirely. And that's assuming, again, there's any Spit at all, uh, being as how they have no line of sight on me. Uh, so that's done. And we'll, what I'll do is once this cures is I'll get this all upgraded to steel, at least on this end, you know, where the Zombos could still you know, potentially whack it as they're going up the ramp, but I think we're good. I think we're all set. So yeah, this ought to be an interesting horde night, man. 
Interesting hard end. The you know the fences will last as long as they last. There's no way I can get to them to repair them. So, you know, they'll just uh, eventually wear down. But that's just the way it is. Okay, both of those are working, and that's working. <laughs> okay, we had to do our obligatory test of the electric fence. Okay, well, what I would like to do now um, is. We've got two, about two days left, essentially. So let's just do some random POIs. I'm not even really worried about loot. I mean, we'll check the loot, the, the end loot at least. But let's just kind of have some fun and go through some POIs and just, you know, do some, some, some um, you know, POIs that, that I haven't either done before or haven't done in a long time. And let's just do this one. What the hell, right? I've <laughs> never actually been inside of here. We've been next to it all this time. Uh, we could do the Freddy Krueger house, too. Okay. So, yeah, we'll just have some fun. Just kind of casually go through some of these places without worrying too much about the loot. I mean, we will loot stuff, but we won't. We're not going to go. We're not going to loot really basic stuff like cabinets and sinks. We'll just kind of go through it. And, whoa. Whoa. We aren't going to have easy zombos, that's for sure. Well, some of the zombos will be easy. Where's that other zombo at? Oh, shit. She scared me. Huh? Come here, Arlene. There's just something about this desert vulture that is really fun to fire wait remember we're not checking normal lead okay right yeah um let's go downstairs we're like not making any attempt to be stealthy <laughs> uh, oh yeah i've been in this house before i've been in this house before there's a a thing back here. Some of these places look, you know, they look very similar, so it's hard to remember which ones I've done and which ones I haven't. Now, there's going to be sleepies behind here. Uh, have they popped in yet? We're going to get rushed. You just watch. Oh, maybe maybe we've already aggroed these guys. Oh, nope, there's one right there. All right. I want to see if these still cause uh, problems. Now we're doing damage to them. Okay. Maybe they did fix that. We, we're just too damn stealthy, because usually this whole group just... just rushes you, you know? Once they're aggroed, they all trigger at the same time. Look at that, a bone ship. Hey, that's awesome not okay let's go in here all right let's check the in loot skis just for fun skis um we'll take the ammo and that and Let's just, I, I mean, we don't need to sell anything. We just don't. Uh, we'll scrap that. I think we already had whatever that was we just learned. Uh, learned. Ooh, that's that's nice. Okay. Whoops. How about if we take them? Little blood bleg. Blood bleg. Blood bag action. All right. We need to ditch a couple things. Let's drink this. 
get rid of the cloth or no actually here let's turn the cloth into bandages uh no first aid bandage there we go i've been playing a lot of undead legacy and you have to you have to turn these into actual bandages first before you can make the first aid bandages. Okay, this... We're going to scrap, I guess. Actually, no. Let's just toss it. Because I'm just going to turn around and throw the paper out then, too. Uh, let's eat. Uh, this... We we'll, should be saving that for chili dogs. But you know what? Now that we can make shepherd's pie and spaghetti, who cares about stupid chili dogs? Uh, all right, anything else? We, we could make seven more bandages out of this. We're just going to have to get some more cloth. And um, everything should be fully modded. So we don't have a spot really to put that. Can we put it on the shovel? Yeah, we could put it on the shovel. No, it doesn't really make sense to put it on a shovel, but at least it saves some space. This is fully modded, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so we had uh, some more 7.62s in there. Let's see what's in the shoddy Messiah crate. Yeah, I'm going to leave that. Uh, I'm going to leave that too. Okay. I believe that's it. This comes out into the garage. Look at all that food, man. Chicken ration. Chicken ration is not used for any recipes as far as I know. So we'll just eat it straight up. We'll overeat a little bit here. Well, actually, no, we are a, a tad hungry, so we're not overeating at all. Okay, let's just go farm up enough cloth to make the rest of these bandages. Just gotta find some cloth somewhere. Here, let's use this. It's going to be a little faster. All right. Does that use up all the rest of the aloe cream? It does. Cool. All right. Look at us in our bad selves. Chucking these, chucking these. Just don't need them. Just don't need them. Uh, let's check in here because why not, right? It's going to be a purse and it's probably not going to have anything good in it. <laughs> yep. I was right. It didn't have anything good in it. Okay, well, that takes care of that POI. Let's go check the Freddy Krueger house. Nightmare on Elm Street house. All right. Let's go ahead and be stealthy just for funs. Just for funsies. Trying to be stealthy. That's not very stealthy. But hey, got to do what you got to do, right? Give me my bolts back. Where's he at? You're still not dead? Good God, that guy's tough. He must have fallen down from up there, maybe? I don't know. Found 
that we should keep for spaghetti. We're not going to loot the normal cupboards. Okay, so we came through here. Let's go upstairs before we go downstairs. And we'll also go in here. Creepy! Got a bookcase. Give me my crossbow bolt back. Creepy. More bookcases. Use those for the XP. Don't care about that. What's this business here? Pile of books. Wood paper. All right. I think that's it for the ground floor. Let's go upstairs first, and then we'll go downstairs. Off with his head. Off with her head, except for it didn't come off. Okay, nothing in there. Don't need that stuff. You did? You did. This is the kids' room. All right, we'll take that. Uh, I'll take the brass. Don't care about those. There's nothing behind... Uh, oh. Yeah, nice. It's been such a long time since I saw Nightmare on Elm Street. That was like over 30 years ago, guys. <laughs> I don't remember much about it. Um, I remember the scene, though, where... The, uh, I guess it was, it was a girl, she was in the bed, and then all of a sudden, she started, like, uh, you know, get, how do I say it? Mo moving, like, up the wall and then around the ceiling. It was, it was creepy. Yeah, it was creepy. <laughs> but, yeah, I haven't seen that movie in a long time, so I just, I just don't remember much about it. It's probably because every time I watched a Freddy Krueger, Krueger movie back then, I wasn't precisely sober. Those were back in the days when the old guy was kind of wild and crazy. So, yeah, not all this stuff is... The references in here are not real obvious to me, is what I'm trying to say. Give me your head. That didn't sound good, did it? What's in here? Okay, nothing there. We might as well check the purse because it's not going to have anything good in it. That's why we're checking it. Because there's that one in one hundredth of a percent of a chance that there might be something good in it. So if you don't check it, you'll never know, right? You'll never know. Okay. We should... I suppose we could get some brass. Where is my impact driver? I think we left it in the thingamadoodle. All right, well, here, we'll just use this. That didn't give us any brass. That's right, we got to take those apart. Oh, well. All good. Ah? Uh? Okay. <laughs> um, was there anything in there that we missed? That didn't work. What? Here, let's get rid of this. What? 
there's a purse in there that's not going to have anything good in it. See, I told you. I told you and I told you. Alright, I guess there's nothing else in here, right? Okay, let's go downstairs. Because what could possibly be dangerous in the downstairs of Freddy Krueger's house? <coughs> eh. Meh. Nah. Meh. Nah. Oh. That scared me. Hold still, Edgar. You too. Yeah, that's pretty disgusting. Hey, look at that. Take the ammo, see if there's anything good to eat here. Or drink. And we got the fat loots. Eh, what the hell. We'll learn that. Uh, we'll take that. We'll take that. Don't care about the rest of this stuff. I mean, we should probably take this just so we can put it on something to sell it, even though I'm probably not going to do that, but we'll do it anyway. You never know. You never know. That doesn't sound good. Where are you at, Zombo? There you are. Okay. Nice, a beaker. A beaker. Is this a secret stash? Nope, it's a box I just destroyed. <laughs> That's what it is. Another bookcase. Alright. Take that stuff. Here's a purse that's not going to have anything good in it. Oh, you'd think I'd done this a few times, huh? I don't need any of that stuff. Destroyed workstation. With a thingamadoodle in it. Yeah, that's kind of creepy. That's even creepier. Chains and stuff? Yeah. There's a person with nothing good in it. I lied. Okay, I guess that's it for Freddy's house. Let's go. Oh. This is Freddy's backyard. With an ammo pile and a bird's nest. Okay, what are we going to get rid of? Uh, 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 uh. Let's scrap that for those. No room in your inventory. Okay, I think we're, uh, there's probably dead people buried in here. Or maybe there's actually living people buried in there because you know freddy krueger and all all right well um we're done we're done here all right guys well i think that is it for our time so it's day 83 and um most likely I'm not going to do any more, epi uh, any more episodes other than just the final episode for uh, Horde Night 84. That is the plan right now. If I change my mind, you will know about it, of course. <laughs> um, but I think as of right now, this will be our final episode. Remember, we have no, we have no rifle skill, but we do have M60 skill. 
Um, yeah, this will probably be our final episode before the Horde Night, which will be the final episode of the series. And then don't forget, I, ha I have like a little uh, special episode for you guys, too. That <laughs> Everything just went flying. Um, I'd like, I want to get the meat. A uh, special episode for you that we'll, I'll do either on Christmas or maybe Christmas Eve. And then that'll be it for this season. And then we're just going to focus, as far as seven days to die, is, die goes, we'll, we're going to focus just on Undead Legacy for now. Um, having a lot of fun with that series. So if you haven't stopped by uh, to check it out, uh, come by and see it. It's it's really cool. It's a really cool mod. Um, it change. It doesn't really. It doesn't change the zombies yet. But what it does is it changes the crafting system. It changes the loot system, um, the skill system, and it's just really fun to play. It's it's very immersive. It's it's more it's difficult. More difficult. It takes longer to progress, but that's not a bad thing, you know. Uh, I've complained about this many times, but the fun pimps, you know, they they have just dumbed this game down so much from what it used to be, and you know they're doing it to make to so it appeals to more people. And I get that from a you know from a marketing standpoint, but. For someone who's a veteran of this game, it just, it sucks. <laughs> it really does. And so Undead Legacy kind of brings back, you know, some of those things that, that the fun pimps have, have taken out of the vanilla game. Uh, like, for example, uh, you can, you uh, you progress or, or you, you level up by doing stuff, right? For example, so uh, I, I use my sledgehammer a lot in that series. And because I have used it as much as I have, I... I have leveled it all the way up to 100 just by using it, uh, the skill of it. Plus, you still have the perks, too. You know, you can get the, you can do the perks, but the skills are done by, um, you know, by use. And this game used to be that way, and it isn't anymore. So, you know, I, I just, that's one of the many things I like about Undead Legacies. It brings, hey, get away from my Jeep. It brings those things back. So, anyway. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go here. In the next episode, we will do Horde Night 84 in our original base, albeit massively upgraded. And um, then we'll end this series with a little present for you guys for Christmas. And we'll go from there. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.